hands-on and making it as real as we possibly can. There's a fine line between what you read in the book and what actually goes on in real life. So actually having the helicopter come and land is something that definitely makes an impact in their mind, something they won't quickly forget. The guys that came out and did the class for us are top notch. They, they live and breathe this stuff, um, do it day in, day out. So they're, they're the most qualified and definitely the best uh, individuals to come out and put this class on for our students. Just like on any ambulance you're gonna work on, that's what this is, it just flies. Okay, that's a that's the back of an ambulance. Same thing with our airplane. Point A to point B as safely as we can do it. Probably the most important thing is once you've activated the aircraft coming to your location. Don't forget about your patient. It's, um, it sounds um, ridiculous, but sometimes people get so wrapped up in, in the environment of um, a helicopter coming in or multiple helicopters coming into a scene. That stuff's important, but don't forget your patient. All three levels are responsible for landing or have the responsibility of understanding how to land um, and have the knowledge to prevent anything on the safety side from happening to themselves, patient, or any bystander that might be on scene. All right. What did you learn about establishing the LZ? How big does it need to be for this aircraft? I mean, we're 100 to 100. this thing's huge out here. 100 by 100, right? Um, it's all about realism here. How we train is how we're going to practice out in the real world. So if we can get that exposure in a controlled, safe environment, whenever they're in the middle of a, a busy intersection, they can identify uh, the do's and don'ts and apply what they learned here today in the real world setting.